Guys, how far are we going today? 36. No, Margo, we cannot do 36. We're doing 27. I want to do 36. Only think about yourself. Mom doesn't is having a problem with her feet and stuff. You yeah, guys yeah, are now Camino aholics. You know that. You sure you want to go back to the RV? 37. Yeah, I do. I'm so excited. That's all we're doing is we're trying to go as far as possible and each day is that tomorrow we end it, right? Yeah. And so that tomorrow we get a big boost. Sing, won't you sing with me? Leave everything for me. Stay the night. Oh, miss your flight. So to the skin, feel free. Shut the world out. Let's hang out. Churros. Hello. Look, I don't know if we're gonna have churros for breakfast. You got a healthy banana right now. That's a lot of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Churros. Okay. That's a lot of sugar. Now that and cola, Kyle might kill you. So I will give you churros at some point. I think we should walk into a little, like, a little hungry. I am already a little hungry. We are, we generally like to go ahead and just wait an hour before breakfast. And not because we like to torture our kids with not having food, but it just makes the day go that much faster. We, I don't know, going 25K and then I stopping have, after the first 100 meters. I think they have plans to go 30K today. Yeah, well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> then we'd have to go like two hours before breakfast. I think also, I think we're hungry when we wake up, but I like to wait until we're really hungry. So we eat every bit of food and we're filled to the max. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It is the most important meal of the day. Do you right? want to go back? I don't care. Eh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Oh, I used to see in colors, now it's gray. Till I met you at the concert the other day. Day 42, and we are, once again, we're getting up late. We're finding out. <laughs> I think we might be getting tired. I think we're getting seriously tired. <laughs> the push to Santiago, I think, pushed us a little too far. And, <laughs> and now the kids are like cracking the whip. They're like, we want to be there by this day. Today we have to do 32K. Tomorrow we have to do 40K. And Will and I are like, ugh. Oh. We're hitting this news button going, I hope they don't hear it. <laughs> because we we wanted to get up at what 6 30 and but then we didn't go to bed until about 12 30 last night and then night. we hit the snooze button until like about 7 15 and the kids are like what are you doing <laughs> all right you're like why did you get us up so late i know <laughs> okay so we're leaving najera and we're heading towards who knows we're as so if the kids have their way we'll be in finisdale tonight but we should have them open it in the morning so they know where we're going they know how far we've gone they know the whole plan <laughs> the interesting part about this walk and this sort of this this part of the camino so for for the last like 100 kilometers essentially you're in galicia to santiago and then you're also in in galicia which is to the water and it's like the northwest province of spain it's like a totally different world they have their own language it's like a spanish and portuguese mix and the way they do things is a little different as well. We like this. Yeah, I like it a lot. I, I like it because you know why? We've been in regular Spain for a long time. We have. So I don't even know if we've talked about that. We spent we spent seven weeks in Spain before we came on the Camino. Was it seven weeks? Seven weeks. Nine weeks. Nine and, weeks. And then we spent like a good month in non-Galician territory during the Camino. We've been all over Spain. We have. It's... It's What's, a beautiful country. It is a beautiful country. But we're looking for a little bit different at this point. I'm ready for cheese. And Galicia has definitely <laughs> delivered that. They have their own cheese. Yeah, so they do. They, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, the wine's the same, but People that's fine. People are nice. Um, the I language like is a little different. No, and it, it's totally like a like a genuine subculture because yeah. they will talk to each other in, <laughs> in their Gallego language. And then they'll look at the Spaniards who don't speak and they're like, Okay, okay, they don't get us, and that's fine. <laughs> but we are on our way today. We are, it's cloudy, and we like that. I think it's perfect hiking weather. It doesn't look like rain, but it doesn't, it doesn't appear to be that it's gonna get too hot. We hope it stays like that all day long. <laughs>
Are you guys enjoying spending all this time together? Well, yes. it's giving me ideas about creating a Lego club. I was talking with me, Fargo. Spending time with me, not with them. But you can talk about spending time with me and mom as well. Mm -mm, you guys are boring. But how do you like spending time as brother and sister a lot? Mm -hmm. We talk about Marvel probably 50% of the time. And also we're going to do a Marvel marathon. Hashtag oh, yeah. Marvel marathon in Wales. Well actually technically it's a Marvel bake thon and marathon. Because we're going to make a dessert for every single Marvel movie that we watch and eat them during the Marvel movie. So in other words you're saying that you actually don't mind spending time with each other. Why would we? <laughs> they so just cute. say they don't mind spending time with each other. They so they so did. They, they kind of mind spending time with us, but that's okay. It's us. <laughs> it's us. It's a problem, not with each other. Yeah. <laughs> One of the magical parts about the Camino for us as a family, as as parents of two young children, or I guess a teenager yeah. and they a soon-to-be like teenager, to be young no, children. <laughs> is to see how close they become this entire journey. Now they've always been close to start with because of the way we live our life. You know, we, we live in a 21 and a half foot rolling <laughs> box. Yeah, I but think oh, that all changed four years ago when we left the U.S. Um, they were ships passing in the night, different friends, different activities, different everything, basically, different sleepovers. But when we left, their bond grew deeper. But I think even on the Camino, you spend 40 plus days walking with anyone, you're going to grow more connected, right? I feel more connected to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is and this is us right here. We're like chained at the hip, but anyway. So the kids have been. I mean, they will walk ahead, and they will hold up for each other if one is slowing down. It is yeah. the most adorable thing that I've seen I know in a super long time. They walk together for hours, talking about Marvel. They both like Marvel, but then they'll talk about drones and Legos, which is what he likes. Then they'll talk about cakes and books and baking, which is what she likes. It's really a great give and take relationship, and I think. I think it really sets the stage for future relationships, friendships as well as romantic relationships <laughs> for Plus, them because they know, they know how to work with the, the opposite gender and just to work with anyone in a partnership. Think how different our life would have been otherwise if we didn't go. It would I, do, have been... I do think about that. You know, people say there's situations where, where they're very aware that they skated death, but often if we skate death, we're not aware of it. And I think, I think of this situation, not the same, but that one little thing could have been different and we couldn't have and we would have not been world tanning had they sent us through his company as an expat someplace and we would have continued on that path back stories we were looking to go travel the world through an expat package through a corporation and that fell through that led us through the charge to go ahead and start our own adventure but yeah, if that would have gone through i would have been still chained to an office and yeah, the would. kids would have had their own lives and schools and clubs and activities but we would have never that's the thing about change you never know what you're missing we wouldn't have known how great this could be um, and I do reflect on that quite often and realize how lucky we are and that it really it could have just been a matter of just one little decision and we could have been in another country working for the man and not spending time together as a family. So I'm Right, and I'm walking grateful. on the side of the road in Spain with the cars towards drive. the edge, edge, edge of the earth <laughs> wondering if the world is round or flat. <laughs> we know it's round, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe when we met, I was kind to Camino News Network. We are live with Jessica Suero and Avalon Suero on the Camino. This is day 42, and we will see how their aches and pains are. Jessica, how are your aches and pains? Everything feels great, except for my feet are still bothering me from that 42K day. Avalon, how are your aches and pains? I feel great, absolutely great. I have no aches and pains, and William, do you have any aches and pains? Nothing that I want to complain about right now. <laughs> Thank it's you kind of for redundant, that commentary. Right? Now, last night we slept in the first place we saw. <laughs> it was a jackpot. How did you sleep? I slept fantastic. We had a room of four comfortable beds, a great host. The pillows were, uh, sorry, the blankets were super soft. Oh, the blankets were soft. You had a pillow complaint, right? Pillows were hard and <laughs> I have this really big thing, like big problem 
with the pillows on the Camino, they're always super duper long, really long. And they never fit into my sleep sack, so I have to like shove them into my sleep sack, which makes them a lot harder, and I can't <laughs> sleep. So for those of you who are not familiar with sleep sacks, ours have a little spot to put their pillow in to protect the pillow if there's any bed bugs or stuff to protect you from the pillow and vice versa. So look, they're so long, like Avalon said, they don't fit in the standard sleep sack space, which annoys Avalon. A lot. Well, how did you sleep? I slept great. I, I could have slept another two hours. I could have slept another two hours too. Will and I only got about six hours of sleep, but it was a solid six hours. They had nice showers there too. Yeah, they did. They had perfect showers. Very clean. How do you know? You didn't take a shower. I was in the bathroom. <laughs> So the hike out of Nahira is absolutely spectacular. It's beautiful. All these wonderful tree-lined coves um, and a lot of steep at this point. And okay. if you're hungry... We made a novice mistake. We know better. We, we definitely did. We skipped breakfast in the town we were leaving thinking, ah, oh, let's get going just a little bit and we'll stop in the next town. Well, and the next town with real food. Yeah. Or the next town without any food. And we passed like four towns. It is like 12 kilometers away. And there's been no food. So. We're pretty hungry. We are, we're, we're <laughs> gloriously battle tested. Tested. Yes. And I think the kids are withstanding this lack of food. And we did have. Better than we were planned they would. We had four pieces of fruit with us. And typically we go to the grocery store and we get fruit and nuts and all that kind of stuff to hold us over. But the grocery store was pretty far away. And we were really tired last night, so we didn't. Oh, but do look, it. there's something right here, 100 meters away. 100 meters. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, food. Boy, you turn on the camera, food. magic things happen. Oh, God. The Camino provides. Yay. Oh. Thank you guys for watching. I think you provided food. This is so glorious. Oh, boy. There's a it's sign here steps up, for a cafeteria, and there's okay. a sign for another one that's 3.5 kilometers away. I'm going 100 meters. Uh, why? <laughs> Come get me when you get to the top, guys. Who's I think they have sushi here. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm starving. This is this is a breakfast and lunch and dinner all in one. Mm -hmm. You gotta love Spain for that. When you guys eat in Spain, you guys get go all we out. Eat. We don't mess around. We had people that we met along the way, actually just on the way back from Finisterre, tell us that this Camino path is like all like this, up and down and up and down and up and down. And they weren't kidding. This thing is, is I believe brutal. Them. You believe them. Now I really believe them. This is out of control. Ooh, it's a lot up and down. It's more up than down. More up than down. But we must go down at some point. We have to so go down eventually. Sea level. Exactly. <laughs> we'll, we'll be rewarded one day. I think the last day. Maybe it's the all last downhill, day. Maybe. I hope so. I'm okay to work hard to get rewarded then. I mean, we kind of thought of this as the cool down period, but boy, it's, it's pretty hard. This is, this is rough going. <laughs> so at the end of the day, um, we're on day two and there's not a soul in sight. There is not a soul in sight. How many people do you think we've seen so far today? 10. 10 and it's one o'clock. It's one o'clock and people are starting to probably retire for the so day. So Will and I were talking, we saw a ton of people when we started that said, yeah, we're going all the way to the end of the world. <laughs> And we're like, where are these people? Because we haven't seen hardly any people. Well, but they I think passed us. I think, and I think a lot of people just get to Santiago, and then they have injury, or they're sore, or they're just like hanging with people they met along the way, and they're like, so, okay, I'm done. All right, forget this. I'm gonna take the bus. And then right, just... a lot of people we spoke to are gonna take the bus, and it takes what? Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. For us. Four days. Four days. The kids think they're gonna do it in three it's, days. It's, so it's really rewarding, though. It is. I think. I think it's worth it. <laughs> I'm serious. I do think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. We'll get another certificate saying that we went to the end of the, of the world. What are we going to do with those? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's sit. 
Watch your stick. I know. This is pork milanese, which is probably the best food we've had the entire Camino so far. That's really good. It's so good. Really, really. If Do you're you like ever pork? in the Gal Galicia region, order that like every time and then for breakfast as well. It's that good. Largo, how's your bocadillo? Or just really branching out he in the whole the Spanish cheese, thing. He said the cheese is really good on it. We're, we're at a very disturbing part of the day. <laughs> Jess, how do you feel? Well, it's 4.16 and... the last couple of days, we haven't been as good about being done by a certain time so we can work. We just kind of hit it hard. So by the time we start working at 6 at night, we work till midnight. Our bodies only rest for about 5 or 6 hours and we start again. And I'm really feeling the stress on my feet. Like I don't have, I don't have any I know, I know, but I'm not 13. You went to bed at 9.30. Okay, we must have. Should we stop for the night? Um, no. I want to keep going. Avalon, do you want to stop? No. Only if mommy's hurting. Oh, okay. I'm fine. It shouldn't be that hard. Dinner and a night out. But I was caught off guard. Now let me tell you what it's all about. We're forging ahead. We are 50 more kilometers today. We are six more kilometers, six and a half, <laughs> because that's what rational people do on a rational type of Camino, because we are rational people. Okay, so hour and 15 minutes to get to our destination for tonight. What, it's like about seven o'clock when we get there? At about 6.30. Around there. Which is, again, very late for us. Very late for anyone. But we'll make it work. It seems like around like four o'clock is like night night time for people walking. And then they, they huddle in and then they start. Well, I think they stop their... even early because all those people at the last cafe were already showered. And schnockered. And sh <laughs> so, I mean, they were, they were done for the day several hours ago, I would say. Yep. I think on average, most people finish between 12 and 2. 2 being maybe 2.30. They shower, they do their laundry, they have something to eat, they take a nap, um, and they're done. And typically, we've been trying to stop between... By three, yep. but not the last couple not days. Not the last couple days because we are... We want to end exhausted. Yeah, who doesn't <laughs> want that? <laughs> tick tock, the clock is ticking. I don't know what I should do and I wish you would be right here with me. My mind is filled with pictures of when we used to dance but now I don't know where you are. You so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. We have this last big uphill for the day. Taxi! 42 days in, this should not be a struggle for me. That's what makes it a struggle though. You think you got it, and then look at this. I didn't take a nap yesterday when I got in, and I worked till midnight. I have a good excuse, right? <laughs> it's not that I'm out of shape and I've been doing this for 42 days and I still can't hack it, right? Right? Uh, sure. <laughs> don't worry, we're almost done. I don't think people want to watch 20 minutes of me climbing something that should take five minutes. Even though this stinks because it's straight up, this is still better than the bus. I need spikes and I need a rope. Still better than bus. Yeah. Who would want to sit in an air-conditioned bus? And watch the beautiful scenery go by while they deliver you bocadillo and Galician cheese. Well, Not hopefully, me. hopefully, like watching the TV Not and me. watching our vlogs. Watch your, they're showcasing our vlogs. Yeah, <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. I'd ride that bus. <laughs> This is cute. Where? 
I like this. We got some serious blackout shades here here. But we get real sheets though. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah. We have a typical Galician cheese. Okay. A goat cheese. Okay. Yum. Oh, my goodness. I am the happiest pilgrim alive. Don't, don't eat it. Don't eat it. I gotta take a picture. I'm telling you. I've had a little bit of cheese on the Camino, not much, but this is fantastic. You have to come here. It is amazing. So good. All right, day 42. 42. Boy, I feel like every single time we start this thing, it's like almost like an exhale. Day <laughs> 42. Can you imagine there was a time we were saying day Day 42. Two, day two, day three, <laughs> day four. World turning, world turning. We are, we're debating whether we're gonna end on, well, we're debating what day we're gonna end on. We're, we're, we're now to in total control of what day we're going to end. The kids really want to do about 43K tomorrow. They want to finish I, it tomorrow. I don't think Will and I can do it. I we're all up for the challenge, feet are ready for but this. our feet are in a bad way and we really need to, to work. And if we hike 42, there's absolutely no work being done. Like we wake at 5 and we go to bed at 11. Well, this means two things essentially. So if we finish it tomorrow, then we're done. We're done and that's Which, it for the vlogs. So That's it. Uh, you guys want two more or one more? <laughs> I don't even know if they get a choice in this. You guys done with us? You ready to be done with us? Are you ready I'm to move on to the rest I'm of the I'm kind of ready to go back to lemonade. I miss lemonade and sunshine. I, I miss it too. I mean, there were points today where I was like, okay, I think we've done our, our Camino. I think because your feet are done. really bothering you because I've had moments, I had a moment about three weeks ago where I was like, what have we done? This is another reality portion. I barely walk and now I don't want to be done, so. I, I can be done. Your feet hurt, that's I why. can be done. I am, I, am, right. I am one day, two days from being done, and I, I'm not feeling guilty for saying I can be done. All right. Because your feet hurt. Well, it hurts a little bit. I know. My pinky I know. toe. I know. You're, we'll just cut that one off. You don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> that darn pinky toe, it hurts. All right. Where did we start today? We started in Nejeras. We're in Lago now. And we're in Lago now. We're staying at this place. It's been open for 10 days. It's a brand new alberg, and it's, it, it's nice. It's awesome. It's clean. Every single bed. Get, get this, get sheets, and gets their own little nightlight and their own power outlet. And, so and a comforter. Amazing. And a comforter. And they have the most fabulous cheese plate I think I've ever you seen. You had a cheese plate? I had a uh, cheese plate, and it wasn't just one kind of cheese, it was four different kinds of cheese. I had a scrambled eggs dinner, which was uh, the first time scrambled eggs was offered at an albergue ever. We're very happy with the food here. Oh my we gosh. recommend staying here and they're super nice. And they and had they're... amazing ice cream as well. Oh, and artisanal Homemade ice cream. Homemade ice cream, oh my All gosh. All right, we gotta stop talking about the food. Okay. How, we went, how far did we go today? 20, A lot. 28 kilometers today? We went 28, the woman here said, it was only, it was only like 25 kilometers, but I, I called BS we know on that. We know it was like 28, 29. <laughs> like Cause 30. we were checking Google like every moment. <laughs> and and um, we spent a ton today. We're ending yeah. off with with a I don't care about the budget thing. Eight hundred dollars today. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, we went to physiotherapy. We, no, no, no. But essentially, <laughs> but I did have that cheese plate, which was ten euros. It was it was good. It was worth it. it. Was worth it. And, and I think, honestly, I think the kids had like four meals today. They ate a ton today. They ate a lot. We just well, had we just had dinner about three hours ago, and then we just ate again. Well, when you start off the day and you don't eat breakfast till 11 a.m., then the whole day just sort of I just think, steamrolls. Do you think once you're going over 25k, you're just you just you just have to you need those calories and yep. i just felt like eating all day today as well so all right all right we're done surprise you're gonna see if tomorrow's our last day or not i don't think it is we don't even know no no there, there's at least two more vlogs i promise good night i hope au revoir don't make me do all in one i'm day. leaving okay <laughs> all right bye. <laughs> bye we have one last big uphill we got to go all the way up there and it seems like after that i think we get rewarded but I think after that, there's really like a kilometer and a half left, so I'd like to tell you that we're done, but... I want to sleep right here. <laughs> <laughs>